Mini monochrome OLED displays are cheap, reliable and easy to use by makers. They come in huge variety of sizes. In this video tutorial, I'll explain you the exact steps how to get started with I2C OLED mini display with about 1 inch diagonal on Arduino compatible board. Let's have a closer look at the display. It's a bit below 1 inch. There are 4 mounting holes. The screen resolution is 182 by 64 pixels. The driver is SSD 1306. In this particular display model, the upper part of the screen is yellow and the lower is blue. You can find exactly the same type of display with only white OLED pixels. The usage is the same no matter what is the color of the OLED pixels. The display has to be connected to a microcontroller via I2C. This is a multi-master, multi-slave serial computer bus. It is widely used for attaching lower speed peripherals such as sensors. Each I2C slave device, such as our display, has an unique address. For those of you with soldering skills, there is an option to change the default I2C address through pins on the back of the display. This is an advanced feature and it's useful when you need to control two displays simultaneously from one microcontroller. I will attach the display to Anavi Thermometer. This is an open source hardware development board that I have designed on my own using the free and open source software KiCad. The board is powered by the microcontroller ESP8266 which is compatible with Arduino sketches. On the top of the display there are four pins, ground, power input marked as VCC, clock and data lines for the I2C. My dev board, Anavi Thermometer, has a dedicated slot for attaching this model mini OLED display. Using female to male jumper wires, I'm connecting the display to the board. If you're using a different Arduino compatible development board, you should locate the appropriate pins according to the datasheet and connect the display to them. There is an awesome open source Arduino library for monochrome displays called U8G2Lib. It supports a wide variety of monochrome OLED and LCD displays, including the display that we are using in this tutorial. With the same approach, you can use any of the other compatible displays. I have already developed a super simple Arduino sketch for trying out the display. It is available at GitHub. Find a link to it at the description of the video. Let's open Arduino IDE and load it. Using the Arduino library manager, we have to install U8G2Lib. I'm uploading the sketch to Anavi Thermometer with UR to USB debug cable. I have to press the reset button on Anavi Thermometer before turning it on and hold it until the upload is completed. I have made a detailed video for configuring and flashing Arduino sketches on Anavi Thermometer. Please have a look at it for more details. Let me show you the result. I'm turning on again the board after I have flashed the Arduino sketch. Three lines with text are shown on the display. As I told you, this particular display is yellow-blue. Because of this, the first line is yellow and the next two lines are blue. Now let's have a look at the source code to understand how it works. At the beginning of the Arduino sketch, I'm including the header file provided by U8G2Lib and setting the exact model and screen resolution of our display. I'm also including headers required for ESP8266 because this is the microcontroller on my dev board. I have defined a function draw display. It sets a font and draws three lines on the mini OLED display. The content of each line is defined by the arguments of the function. Each Arduino sketch has two main functions, setup and loop. In setup, we are calling draw display and providing as arguments the words test, hello and world. The Arduino library U8G2Lib is very powerful and convenient. It offers a lot of different fonts. Have a look at the documentation and select the most appropriate for your needs. Now, let's change the implementation of the draw display function. I'll change the font, increase the size of the first line and decrease the sizes of the other two lines. In function setup, I'm also changing the text that is shown on the OLED display. Let's give it a try. After flashing this modified version of the sketch on Anavi Thermometer, here is the result. 
Just to remind you that there are a lot of Arduino compatible dev boards on the market and of course, with some minor adaptations, you can use the same Arduino sketch on a different board. It is time for a bit more complicated and dynamic example. Let's add an integer variable. In the loop function of our Arduino sketch, we will increase it on every 3 seconds. If the variable is equal to 10, we will reset it. Furthermore, there is a physical button on Anavi thermometer. Let's check if the button is pressed. If it's pressed, we will reset the counter. We will draw different values on the mini I2C OLED display depending on each of these use cases. The button on Anavi thermometer is connected to GPIO0. Don't forget to initialize it in input mode in the setup function of the sketch. You already know the drill, we have to compile and upload the Arduino sketch to the development board. There is an acrylic stand for mounting Anavi thermometer and the mini OLED display. It is quite convenient, so I'll show you the last demo using it. Only once, right after booting, we will see for 3 seconds the message from the previous example because it has been left in the setup function of our Arduino sketch. You can see how on every 3 seconds the text on the display is changed and the counter is increased. After 30 seconds our counter hits 10, a special message is shown on the display and the counter is reset. The loop function runs forever, so this keeps repeating again and again. Let's test the use case with the button. The uploaded Arduino sketch checks the state of the button only once on every 3 seconds, so I'll press and hold the button until I see the special message on the display. Ok, this proves that our Arduino sketch works as expected. As you have seen, thanks to the Arduino library U8G2Lib, getting started with this mini OLED I2C display is straightforward and super simple. Details are available in the description of the video. At the end of the video I just want to remind you that all the demonstrations that you have seen here are done with Anavi Thermometer which is an open source hardware development board that I have designed with KiCad and it's powered by ESP8266. However, you can do the same with other Arduino compatible boards or even with the original Arduino such as Arduino Uno or Arduino Leonardo. Some minor modifications of the source code might be required. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and stay tuned for more videos.